Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Hector, good evening. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. I'm fine. But, teacher. Yes. I don't, in Spanish. <laughs> Me han pedido una información, un informe para mañana. Este, yeah. Puedo participar como oyente. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, all right. Well, Voy a estar pendiente de cualquier cosa, que, que, pero voy a estar en la computadora trabajando en eso. Este, voy a estar pendiente. All right, all right. Thank you, teacher. Yes, yes. I understand, I understand. It's also, also Friday, yes. Oma, Antonio, Laura, Gabriel, and uh, Adriana. Hello, guys. Thank you for being here. How are you guys? How is everything? Hello, nobody is here. Nobody is here. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Holman. How are you, Holman? Uh, I'm fine because it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and you are ha fine and happy, right? Relaxed. Yes. All right. All right. It's it's Friday. Yes. We are we are tired. We have been working the whole week. And it's finally Friday. We need to rest. We want to rest. Yes, yes. And how was how was your day, Coleman? Tell me. Good, bad. Um, in in my in my work, uh, was was child was relaxed. Uh, it's it's okay. I I think it's. A normal, normal Friday. All right. Uh, yes, it's okay. It was a normal, normal Friday. I understand. I understand. <laughs> That's okay. That's good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Very good. That's fine. Hello, Isabel. Thank you for connecting or for joining. Thank you for being here. How are you, Isabel? How is everything? Hello, Mister. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Very good. Uh, a little, a little hard my day. Oh, you had a hard day today. Oh man. Yes, I. A little harder. All right, I understand. I understand. It's it's Friday, but Fridays are difficult. I mean, yeah. Fridays make us happy, but Fridays are difficult too. <laughs> yes, they are. All right, but the good thing is that you are here, Isabel, and. I really, really appreciate the, the effort that you guys make to be here every single day. That is really, really good. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. Uh, I see some people here, but they haven't said anything. I, I don't really know if they are there. Uh, I don't really know. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Oh, hello, Antonio. Hey, how are hey, you? I'm here. I'm fine, teacher. Are you happy? Are you tired? tired? Sleepy? Hungry? I'm tired, but I'm fine. Okay, you're yes, tired. Yes, it was a little difficult. Yes. I, yes. I, I had a, a whole, a lot of work today. And also, my, tomorrow I have to work too. Tomorrow? Yes. I'm sorry, me too. <laughs> I'm sorry too. No, but tomorrow I'm going, I'm going to have a very easy day. It is not going to be complicated. So I'm I'm kind of happy about that. Yes. I, I'm trying, teacher. I'm trying. <laughs> All right. But right. it's a little difficult. Yes. It is difficult. It is difficult. Yes. Christian, Fatima, hello. Thank you guys for being here. What a pleasure. Good to see you hello, again. Christian. Hey, Christian. How are you? How how do you, how are you feeling? Good teacher. I'm fine today. All right. Happy or sad? I'm happy it's Friday <laughs> and I wow. finished all the my work. Wow, that's I, good. I, I, I don't have to work more tomorrow in my house. <laughs> really? Sí. So tomorrow oh, yes. so tomorrow you will have a free day or a day off. Yes, it's it's always day off, but sometimes I have to work from my house, from yes, my I, home. I if understand. I have 
more work. Uh -huh. I understand. I understand. Well, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Just enjoy tomorrow. I right? enjoy yes, as much teacher. as you yes. can. And sleep, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, I do. I do that every every Saturday in the afternoon and every Sunday in the morning. I sleep. I sleep. I get out very tarde, como si? Late, very late. And late, but late for me is uh, about eight p.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Me too. Eight p.m. Yes, yes. <laughs> But on Sunday, on Sundays I have a problem. On Sundays I I uh, I wake up at five a.m. It's like automatic, you know. Your brain is is automatic. Yeah. You wake up, but, but what I what I do on Sundays, what I do on Sundays, I wake up and then I go and I drink some coffee. After I finish drinking the coffee, I go back to my bed and sleep. <laughs> I just. Staying in the house in the in the bed. <laughs> that's 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 what we need to do. We need to do that. Yes, we have to do that. We need to do it. <laughs> All right, Fatima. Hello, and you. How are you? How's everything? Hello, teacher. Night. Good to see you again. How was your day? You look tired. Yes, <laughs> I'm tired. You're tired. Yes. Yes. But mañana, tomorrow is weekend. Yes. Are you happy about yes. that? <laughs> Are you going to work? No, it's free. Good for you. Good for you. Excellent. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. You yes. need to sleep. Okay. Hibernate. Uh, what's the word? Har uh, hiber hibernate. Hibernate. You have to do that tomorrow. Hibernate. Hibernar. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Uh, Lucy just joined us. Lucy, hello. It's good to have you here again. Thank you for being here. Mm. No, yes, I can. I heard the last part, but I I, I cannot really hear, hear what you're saying. People, do you hear Lucy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we cannot hear you, Lucy. Probably, it's probably your microphone in the computer or in the your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think. Now it's better, it's better. It was better, it was better. Yeah, we're back at the same thing, at the same time. I hope you get you, you fix it, okay? I hope you fix it. Okay, very good, guys. Thank you for being here. Uh, it's 10 people already. Let me get the attendance ready and let me take it. <clears throat> well, Adriana Maria Turcius. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmon. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present teacher. Yes. Christopher Espitia Chipawa. Christopher is not here yet. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Lucy, for letting me know. Yes, I you have you have microphone problems. <laughs> We, we hear you, but not very loud, or it's just like we have to uh, get close to the, to, the, to the speaker to hear you. <laughs> Let's continue here. Christopher, not right. He's not here yet. Fatima Denise Aguilar. Present teacher. Yes. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Hector Francisco Morales. Present teacher. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Yes. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. 
Holman Saul Hiron Sanchez. Present. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. Lucy, yes, we have Lucy Natalie Ramirez. Ramirez, I'm sorry. Present. Present. Magdalena Escalante. Present. Yes, yes, I hear you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Yes. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Oscar is not here yet. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Roberto Carlos Hernández. And uh, Rosalina Alvarado. Yes, we got it, we got it. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to start in. Today we have a lot to review. We're going to be reviewing some topics and we're going to be checking uh, some things in the platform too. First, uh, we're going to start or let me start by showing you by showing you the presentation. In this presentation, we're going to see some topics, some grammar topics that we have studied. So we're going to review all of that. Okay, here. At the page. Okay, the first thing to review or, or to just re try to remember this one. You can find this information on page number 17. Okay, we read this part already. We read this already, but we're going to review a few things related or are that are very, very, very important. Okay, we got this thing here. Uh, I need a person or two people to help me practice the conversation. And we're going to pay attention to these words. Two people to practice the conversation, please. Okay, we got one. Thank you, Isabel. Isabel, yes, and, and who else? Okay. Okay, Holman, yes, thank you. Um, I am Mr. Vélez. Mm -hmm. Okay, good morning. I am thrilled to announce we have green light to work on our latest product testing task. Um, I'm confused. I'm confused. Uh, One I, of the good are three three person. Mm. No, no, it's sure. let me see. No, it's just two people. Yes, it's Mr. People. Ayala Holman. Ah. Oh, okay. No, uh, let me be. Let me. I'm going to be. I'm going to be Miss Ayala. Okay. Yes. Because only one, one, one uh, sentence. Let's repeat again. Isabel, go ahead, please. Okay. Good morning. I'm thrilled to announce we have green light to work on our latest product testing task. Latest. 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 One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the, the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The effort this task requires are important to take into account. Holman? That's you. <laughs> You're Mr. Avila, Holman. Well, 
Microphone. Uh, de definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic test, so we can discuss them. Take a take a look. Good job. But had you figured out the cause? Some difficult decision to make refer to fancy material and cause. Mm. Versus, como, como lo diría, teacher? Wait. Hold on. Something happened here. Okay. All right. Which part? And this one, Mr. Vélez. Yes, yes. Eh, el que dice costo versus calidad. Quality, yes. Cost versus quality. Versus. Versus, versus. versus yes, yes, versus. Okay. Good job, but how do you figure it out the cost? Some difficult decision to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing cost. And um, I'm good at that. Okay, okay. Thank you for reading. Thank you, Isabel and Roman for reading. Look, pay attention to that, to the words here. One of the good things. And also is, Cash, do you remember this topic? A little bit. A little bit? Yes. Okay. Look, one of the, the efforts or are some difficult decisions, one of the most important factors. And we have <clears throat> a very, a very large list of words or, or uh, quantifiers that we can use. This, this topic is called subject verb agreement or how to use agreement with this one. This one, look at it. How to achieve verb agreement with complex subjects. Complex subjects are subjects that are modified by quantifiers, okay? Quantifiers are many, none, all, any, some, the first one of, a number of, an amount of, etc. They are quantifiers, okay? These quantifiers modify the subject. They make the subject plural or they make the subject singular. But there are some rules that we need to follow, yes, for the verb. The verb has to agree with the quantifier and the amount of people or the amount or the number that you are mentioning in the subject. Okay, yes, that's how we do it here. Now, I'm gonna go, let's read this, look. Subjects that are preceded <clears throat> by expressions of quantity are called complex subjects, yes? They take either a singular or a plural verb form depending on the number, singular or plural of the quantifier. Example, the first of the decisions has been made to go ahead with the plan. Okay, has is a singular verb. Guys, what is a singular verb? What is a singular verb? Does anybody know? No idea? Useful for a single person, teacher. Okay, okay, all right, all right. A singular verb is this type of verb that we use for she, he, and it or in other words, third person. But we only, well, this one, this, this thing, 
You only see it, you only see it in simple present. In simple present. Only in simple present is, to, is when you have to pay attention to the form or the, yes, basically the conjugation of the verb. All right, that's what it is. So, look, let me read this one again. The first of the decisions has been made to go ahead with the plan. Explanation. Here, the first refers to one of the decisions. We're not talking about all the decisions. We just mentioned the number one or the first one, which means singular. That's why we use the singular verb here, has. Another one, one of the good things I like about working with you all, look, the quantifier ends here, or the sentence with the quantifier ends there. One of the good things, one of the good things, it looks, it seems plural, but this is not plural because we have one. One of the, okay, we're talking about one, singular. So we need a singular verb. Is is a singular verb. Here, one is a singular, a single of very good, various good things. So the verb must be singular as well. In these cases, we have is. Let's go to the plural part. Example: some some difficult decisions. This one is obvious. Is plural. Some difficult decisions. Decisions, right? To make in relation to fancy material are, okay? We got decisions, plural, are is the verb in the plural form. So we have the subject verb agreement right there, okay? About the cost and quality. Here, some, the quantifier is some, refers to more than one difficult decision, plural. So the verb must be plural, are in this case. A majority and a number take a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun. Example, a majority of product developers, okay, it's plural, prefer to use blind, blind tests, okay? Yes, blind tests, that's how it goes. Now let's go back or let's go to the presentation. In the presentation, I have more examples that we can take a look at. Do you see the presentation? I am sharing the presentation. Yes, it too. All right, all right. Okay, ready. Here, look, we got the list right here. The list is very, very important. There are more, okay? This list is not uh, the complete list. There are more, more quantifiers that we can use, okay? Yes, but let's, let's remember or let's, re let's refresh our, bra our brains. What is subject verb agreement? What is subject verb agreement? Look, it is when the subject and the verb form coincide grammatically. You cannot use a singular subject with a plural verb. Or you cannot use a plural subject with a singular verb form. Okay, it has to be singular, singular, plural, plural. That is the right or the correct combination. It also says, it also says it is important that your subjects and verbs agree according to number. You are more likely to encounter problems deciding which form of a verb to use when the subject is modified by a quantifier. The quantifiers that we have here are the first of, many of, some of, none of, <coughs> a great number of, a great deal of, every one of, a number of, an amount of, a bunch of, a lot of, each, neither, enough, all, no, both or both of, any or any of, 
a majority of, okay? To mention a few, there are more, like I said before, there are more. Now, we're going to take a look at some examples or at more examples, okay? Look, look at this example. Some information about this, the project is important to continue with it. Some information about the project is important to continue with it. What is uh, some information? Is it singular or plural? Plural. Singular. Plural, singular? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Singular. Okay, let's see, let's see. Look. We have information right here. And information is a word that we cannot count, okay? It is always singular, all right? Yes. Some, we can use some with things that we can count and things that we cannot count. Here, some information, algo de información, okay? Yes. If it is plural, it will be some books, algunos libros, some books. It's different, right? That's okay. So some information about the project is important to continue with it is singular. Singular subject, singular verb. The agreement is perfect. Let's carry on here. Another example, let me show it to you. Okay, that one. The amount of money received last year was enough to cover all the project we, projects we had pending. The amount of money received last year was enough to cover all the projects we had pending. Hey guys, the amount of money is the subject. Is that subject plural or singular? Singular. Okay. We are still talking about singular. Money is a subject or, or something that we cannot count, okay? It is not correct. Another example, one of the most important factors of technology is its never ending improvement and innovation. One of singular, all right? One of the most important factors of technology is its never ending improvement and innovation. Good. Look, another example here. A lot of pressure is required to finish some tasks sometimes. A lot of pressure is required to finish some tasks sometimes. A lot of pressure, singular. A lot of, you can use this word with singular and plural. Okay, yes. Now let's take a look at some plural examples. Look, some areas in the company need repairing. Some areas, areas is plural, okay? So we need a plural verb. You see, need is the plural verb. The singular form of, what is the singular form of need people? What is the singular form of the verb need? Mm -hmm. The singular form is needs with S, okay, needs, yes. Another example, both, both is plural, always. Both the boss and supervisor are, are out of town to reach agreement with potential companies, okay. R is the verb and we got the boss and the supervisor and they are two people, so it's plural. A bunch of files have been piled up on the secretary's desk. A bunch of files is plural. Have is the plural auxiliary there. None of the investors are available to meet today. We better call off today's meeting, all right? Now, we're going to go back. Let me stop sharing this here. And it's time, it's time for us. I need two or three people with an example. Guys, practice, please. Two or three, it's okay.
Hello. Nice. Try with examples. Hello. Nobody. Singular or plural, teacher. Your decision is just an example. <clears throat> okay. Maybe every single day is a opportunity to learn so new, something new. Okay, repeat please. Every single day is a opportunity to learn uh, something new. Yes, yes, excellent. Thank you, thank you. All right, excellent. Okay, Holman, yes, try. <clears throat> um, a lot of a lot of dogs mm -hmm. are in the street. Okay, a lot of dogs are on the street. Yes, yes. A lot of dogs, plural. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? One more. One more. Only one, only one. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'm going to choose a person directly then. Me teacher. Oh, okay, listen, go ahead. Yeah. Both of my teammates have a lot of work. Okay, both of my teammates have a lot of work. Have, right? Yes, have. Yes, yes. Very good, very good. Now to continue with the practice, we're going to continue, we're going to do an activity, which I will show to you in a second. Yes. I'm gonna work on this thing. Here, look, let me know when you see the document or when you see the examples. Do you see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. yes, teacher. Okay, look, the activity is subject verb agreement agreement worksheet. We got 12 examples here. We are going to choose the verb. The verb is going to be your decision. Okay. What I need, what I need here, what I need you guys to do is to use the right verb conjugation or the right verb form all right so let's work on this i'm going to give you a couple of minutes you choose the verb okay you choose the verb okay there you go i'm going to give you a couple of minutes okay yes oh wait let's do the first one together it says some of the bananas and peaches people what do you think goes there? Uh, okay, yes, yes, that one, exactly, exactly. Some of the bananas and peaches are ripe, okay, are ripe. Now, guys, continue. Let me know when you finish. I'm here. Are hello. Okay.
If you have any questions, let me know. Teacher. Yes. With sentence number 10, 11, and 12, I have no. You have problems? No. Mm -hmm. Because as, as, as first, we have to put something. No. No, 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 no. I don't really, I don't really know why it moved, but it moved. I don't know why. Look. I don't know. I tried, okay. I tried to, to fix it, but it wouldn't work. I don't know. It, it just leaves a, a gap over there that I don't understand. So in number nine, in number 10, it's the same sentence. No, no. Then the different, neither, some, each. <laughs> Number, number nine say, neither of the pilots after that to work. Number 10, neither of the pilots to oh, work yes. too. Yes, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry, I apologize. It's true, it's true. Thanks. That one is, is wrong, okay. There you go. Thank you, Antonio. You're welcome. Remember, you're going to use different verbs. No, you're not going to use only are or is. Maybe you will use other verbs.
No, not yet. Chair, a question. Yes. Uh, for example, in the seven, mm -hmm. uh, we can use a verb and complement of what we are going to use. There. Your decision there. If you want to use a verb and a complement, that's perfect. No, no problem. Okay. Yeah. What? I, the point is the point is to see how how you guys do the subject verb agreement okay you can include as much information as you can please let me know when you're done Guys, are you done? Are you almost done? Yes, no. Almost. Almost, teacher. Almost, almost.
I finished, teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, thank you, excellent. I believe everybody is ready. Yes, guys, ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Let's start sharing. And uh, well, the first one says, some of the bananas and peaches are ripe. Help us, Fatima, with the second one. Fatima, can you help us? Yes. Most of the secretaries are here. Okay. Most of the secretaries are here. Is there anybody who has a different answer or a different verb? No? I have the same. The same are? Yes. yes. Okay. You can also say, I mean, you have, you have many options. Most of the secretaries work here, live here, eat here, etc. But R is fine. Thank you very much. Antonio, read the third one, please. A lot of, of the of the people, the number three, teacher? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. A lot of the people in the office is late sometimes. Okay, a lot of people in the office is late sometimes. Guys, do you agree with Antonio's answer? I have different. Okay, what do you have, Fatima? A lot of the people in the office arrive late sometimes. Okay, okay. It's perfect. Okay, it's perfect. Okay, uh, is there another person that has another different answer? I have come late. Come late. Arrive late, mm -hmm. come late. Okay. What is the what is the conjugation? What is the verb form? What is the verb form? Singular or plural? Plural. Singular. Okay, Antonio says or suggests that it's singular. And Fatima and Krista suggest that it is plural. Okay. Plural or singular. Okay, let's pay attention. Let's pay attention to patient. Uh, pay attention to the subject. The subject is people, right? The quantifier that we have is a lot of, remember, we can use a lot of with singular and plural, all right? Yes. And let me ask you, is people a plural subject or a singular subject? A plural. There you go, there you go. So we need a plural verb all right so the verb that we use here has to be in the plural form antonio says said is but in this case will be are or it can be what fatima said and it can be what christian said and if you have a different answer with a plural verb it also might be correct okay thank you thank you Let's continue with the other one. Christian, help us read the fourth one, please. I would really appreciate it. Okay. All of the players on the pitch are tired. Okay, half, half. Half. Yes, uh, everyone listen to this. The L in the word, in this word is mute. We don't, we don't pronounce it, okay? is half, not half, half, all right? Half of the players on the pitch are tired or is tired. What do you say, I'm sorry? Are. Uh, okay, guys, do you agree with Christian's answer? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, yes, yes. We got R over here, up here, uh, R again here, and R. We can use other verbs, arrive, also come. You mentioned those ones. Okay, number five. Number five, Isabel, help us, please. Okay, Isabel is not there. Holman, help us with number uh, five. Um, now of the men are to their wives. No, that one doesn't make any sense. In this case, we cannot use are. We cannot use e either. In this case, we have to use a verb, regular or irregular. So is there um, anybody that has a Sorry, yes, Holman. Um, none of the men to their wives. Uh, wives, what, what is the meaning of wives? Wife. Oh, people, what is wife or wife? Sposas. Wife, wife, singular, wives, plural. Okay, in these cases, uh, in these cases, have, 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 two. have, two. None of, none of the men have have, to their wives? No, makes no sense. Uh, teacher, uh, none of the men speak to their wives? Yes, that one is better. Speak to, uh -huh. speak to their wives. Okay, yes. There you go. Speak is better, all right? Or we can say talk or even love. No, no, love, no. Uh, no, no, we love their wives, but no, okay. Speak and talk, all right? Let's use only those ones. Let's continue with number six. I need another volunteer here, no, another person. That person is, yes, you, Roberto. And number six, some gallons of gas are necessary. Okay, some gallons of gas are necessary. Yes, that one is, is kind of simple. Are, okay, because we got some gallons, gallons is plural, some gallons, we're talking about the gallons, all right? Some gallons of gas are necessary. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Uh, let's see, let me see. A lot of you are, are yeah, a lot of you are not available. So let's go back and let's uh, start over, Fatima. Number eight. Yes. Um, it, each of the product designers are fancy. Okay, each of the product designers are fancy, you said. Yes. Okay, guys, do you agree with Fatima's answer? No. Hello? Yes, no, no, yes, maybe. <laughs> no, okay. It is incorrect. Yes. Remember, each, each and, well, each of, and neither of, we had problems with these ones, uh, remember? Like we couldn't understand them, remember? And let me just re refresh your minds. N either, I mean, neither of, neither of, and each of, they are always singular. I mean, the subject is singular, it looks plural, but the subject is not plural. Okay, we're talking about each is, means one. Okay, each means one. And what do you say is fancy, you said, no? Are fancy. Okay, yes. 
each of the product designers is fancy. Okay. Yes. That's what it is. Not R. It, like I said, it looks, it looks plural, but each of and neither of are always singular. Or even if you use each, each or neither always singular, okay? Thank you, thank you for reading. Holman, read the number eight, please. Um, number eight, some, some of the water in the office. Mm -hmm. Some of the water. In the yes. Holman, are you speaking? Because I, I cannot hear you. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Holman? Yes, teacher. Um, song of the weather in the office. No, you don't know. <laughs> no, it's... it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. A volunteer. Some of the water in the office. Maybe teacher. Some of the water in the office is on the floor. Okay, we got one option, and that option is perfect on the floor. Okay, look, we got is this is the verb. Some of is the quantifier. The quantifier in this case is singular. Why? Because the object that we have here is singular. Water is not plural, or water is never plural. Okay, we cannot say aguas. Algunas aguas? No, right? That's not correct. It is correct in Spanish. Well, it's not correct in Spanish. It's just normal in Spanish. But in English, it's not, it's not possible. <laughs> All right? Yes. Excellent, excellent, Antonio. And you're next, Antonio. Number eight, nine, I'm sorry. Number nine. Yes. I don't know if, if you use neither of the pilot come to work or, or neither of the pilot is to work. Is no. Is no. To work. The other one. But what did you say? Did you say come or did you say comes? I said come. Okay. Without who? Without is. I don't know. Without the S. Yes. It's with S. All okay. right. I told you that each of singular, right? They are singular. Each of is similar to, or you can say that it is like that, like this one. You apply, you apply the same rule to each, okay? The same rule that you apply to one of is the same that you apply to each of, and the same that you apply to, to neither of. So neither of is singular, okay? Yes, comes in this case. Neither of the pilots comes to work. And number 10, uh, thank you for reading. Roberto, read number 10, please, 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 please. Number 10, some natural dis disaster, disaster, disasters. Some natural disasters are tremendous, tremendously every year. Mm -mm. No. No. 
We cannot use the verb is. We cannot use are. We cannot use is. No. We have to use another verb, a different verb. Okay, in this case, we can use some natural disasters happen tremendously every day, every year. Happen, right? Yes, happen. Yes. Okay, happen tremendously. But in, in my opinion, I would say a different verb like I affect, okay? Yes. Okay, but happen, let's say. This part we, wouldn't be necessary, all right? You can erase it. The last one, the last one, each student, their reports on time. People, give me the answer. Each student, It can be did. Did. Yes. Yes, we can use did. We can use did. There you go, Luke. Okay, but we're not applying the subject verb agreement in this case. <laughs> Remember, the subject verb agreement happens only in the present. Okay, only in the present. Yes. Uh, we can say makes. Yes, exactly. I was about to, to, to write one. Complete. Finishes. Completes. Turns, turns in. A lot of words that we can use, okay? Each student finishes the report on time. Each student completes their reports on time, and each student turns in their reports on time. Turn in means entregar. Okay. Teacher. Yes. This sentence I had like a uh, had finishes. Is correct or no? It has finishes. Has has right. Yes. Each it's student correct. has. Has finished. Has finished. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. We change the auxiliary in this case. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Very good, guys. Do you have any questions? No questions. For me, no teacher. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Let me stop sharing. Now, there is there is another another topic that you might not remember about. But let me ask you, do you remember anything about transitions? Transitions. Yes? No? Like a addition mm -hmm. yes yes exactly exactly okay transitions are words that we were using or that we use to add more information to a, to an idea or a topic let's review it right now this one will be faster than the other one look we got this here addition style transition words are used when you want to continue an argument and strengthen it by adding more points that support your previous ones. We only use these uh, transition words when the information that we are including is similar to the one that we have mentioned before. Okay, this the ideas they have to be 
really, really connected or really, really related, all right? You cannot start talking about robots and then like end up talking about monkeys. Like robots and monkeys are different things, right? So the, we, we cannot use transitions in this case. So look, <clears throat> the transitions help you give more ideas to a main idea. All these ideas are pretty much connected. If the transition expresses or shows an idea that has no relation to the main idea, then the transition word is being used incorrectly. Transi transition words like in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides, add information, reinforce ideas, and express agreement with ideas that have been presented previously. And this is how it goes. The main idea can be one sentence, it can be a group of sentences, or it can even be a paragraph, all right? Let me just uh, mention this again. We can use the transitions, we can use transitions to connect two sentences, to connect group of sentences, or to connect paragraphs, okay? Remember, all of that, they, it has to be related. I mean, all the ideas, the sentences, the paragraphs, they have to be related. If they are not related, then do not use transitions. Let's look at some examples. Okay, look, uh, Antonio, help us read, please. Okay. Dogs are cute because of their happy faces. Their faces are irresistible and breathing, breathing up, breathing up our days. In addition, their wagging tail make them look cute. Their wagging tail is a sign of the happiness and playfulness. Together, these two features of dogs make them undeniable cute animal. Undeniably, undeniably, all right. Undeniable. Here it was, it was uh, brighten up, brighten, 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 brighten up, brighten up, all right. Okay. Okay, brighten look, up. we have, yes, exactly. Thank you, Antonio. We have many, many words here, four lines. Look, four lines, only one, only one transition. This transition is connecting sentences. Dogs are cute animals because of their happy faces is one sentence. Their faces are resist resistible and brighten, brighten up our days. That's the second sentence, two sentences. Now we use in addition, we can use furthermore, we can use moreover, or we can use besides in the same way, all right? Then we have one, two, three, three more sentences. You see five sentences that are connected with only one transition. Another one, uh, Fatima, help us read, please. Travel. Travel is good for expanding the mind. Travelers get to expensive experience new people and culture which can increase knowledge and understanding. Moreover, it can help people develop empathy for others who are different from them. Perfect, thank you very much. As you see, more sentences that are connected with moreover, okay? Even though after moreover, we only have one sentence, but if you see previous, previous the previous sentences, uh, are, well, two of them, yes. So we connect them. We, co we have connected three ideas here. And these three ideas are related, all right? Let's move on. We have to continue here. Look. Her lack of caring about paying her debts has led her to face legal issues with the banks. One sentence, but it's a very, very long sentence. Furthermore, she's still She's still getting lots of stuff on credit. 
Many think she will have to spend a few years in prison. We have connected three sentences. The first sentence, and then furthermore, it's adding two more sentences or two more ideas. Okay, hold on. Here. Erica did not pass her exams because of her lack of interest. She is always online doing unproductive things such as watching reels or tours. Moreover, she has lost interest in, in her drawing lessons. For the, uh, moreover, is connecting these sentences and they have, or the ideas are related. Another one, look, all of us, all of us have been having uh, internet problems, right? Many of us have been going through the same problem. But look, English Corporative students' internet is lagging unstoppably while being in class since they don't pay the internet on time or the service on time. Furthermore, their cameras and microphones in their laptops and desktops are acting up. Okay, bad thing here, bad thing here. We continue talking about bad things, okay? Acting up. Do you have any questions, guys? Do you have any questions? No. Uh, teacher. Yes. When do you use, in addition, mm -hmm. uh, you continue with coma? Yes, all of them. The punctuation is not really, is not really uh, an obligation. Let me give you a short one here. Paul Holman Wee is, uh, is always asking questions in class. Okay. He likes to participate. Moreover, is English is really good, okay? Look at this, we got more over. You can do this, you can eliminate the period, you can say here, semicolon, more over, all right? You have this choice, you have this choice, moreover. You can also do this. Hold on. Um, and you can also do this. Both are correct. Uh, more, more, moreover, it's like in Spanish. The same as furthermore, the same as besides, the same as addition, además. Además, yes. but in addition is, is the, is the same, but has mm -hmm. a different. Sorry? Uh, are um, the same, but have different use. Not really, not really. Uh, I told you, I told you that over here, the one that is considered very formal is moreover. Okay, you can use them, you can use in addition, moreover, furthermore, and besides, in the same way. Yes, in the same way. And it doesn't affect the meaning, all right? But like I said, some people believe that, that a moreover is very, very formal. Look, furthermore too, you can use it like that with no problems. Or you can use furthermore with the period here. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, teacher. Do you understand, Homer? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Looks good. 
Thanks. Okay. Or you can change this, you can say in addition. There you go. Yes. In addition, the same here, in addition. You see? The same, the same. You can you can continue and use with uh, after coma and pilot. What do you mean? And you you can you can use that uh, after coma or 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 pilot. You can continue the the the. the the sentence with coma or pilot a period period yes period period yes coma or, or period mm -hmm. both are, are 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 fine yes, yes. Okay, okay are there are there any more questions people no Okay. Let me show you the activity. In this activity, I'm just going to give you specific, I'm going to give you specific time to finish it. Okay. Yes. I will give you around just 10, 10 minutes to finish it. All right. And it's going to be this one. Look at it. Do you see the activity or the, the, the instructions? Mm -hmm. Let me know, please. Yes, teacher. Okay, activity, write a paragraph explaining the importance of focus groups. Use transitions whenever possible. Yes, let's do this. We're going to do this activity in pairs. Two people, okay? Two brains work better than one. <laughs> Let me just do the groups real quick. I know there are many people not available today. Don't worry, I'm not going to pair you guys with these people. Okay, we got the first one. Let me include this one here. Okay, I just created the groups. Let's join them. And guys, work. You're gonna have 10 minutes only. So that means at uh, 9.35, I'm going to bring you back. <clears throat>
Teacher. Hi. Remember, I can join with the group with we because a few min a few minutes more, and I could uh, end my my report. Please. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Thank you, teacher. Hi, teachers. Can you explain the activity, please? Yeah, okay. I didn't hear you. Here, the activity is here. We're going to write a paragraph, not oh. very long, okay? Not very long, of course. No, no. And in the paragraph, we're going to be describing or explaining the importance of focus groups. Yes. Okay, teacher. And uh, at least, at least use one, one transition, please. Okay. Okay, what do you think, Christian? Whatever yeah. topic, teacher. Hmm? No, focus group. Focus group, right? Mm -hmm. Continue, okay? Me either. But I think it's connected, like a connected words, connect okay. ideas. Okay. Uh, and the question is why it's important? The focus group, no? Yes, yes. This one, this one. Okay. Got it here, got it here. Ah, okay, write a paragraph, explain the importance of the transition. Uh -huh. ah. But okay. don't, don't, don't do something very long. It can be like six, six lines or four, uh, five or six lines, okay? And okay, uh, teacher. Well, and I need you to use at least one, one transition. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, go. Lucy go. cannot participate. Lucy is here, but she cannot participate. Okay, she has a micro my, my problems with her microphone. Ah, okay. But, she, but she's listening, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Holman. Okay. Okay. I think for me, the four. Hi. Hi, teacher. Roberto tenía una duda. Yes. Mm -hmm. ¿De cuándo sí. ocupar las transitions? Mm -hmm. Roberto. Sí, es que... Um, um, the transition word is um, for in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides. Mm -hmm. uh, and el significado veo que es como lo mismo. Además. Además. Yeah. Además. Entonces, ¿cuándo voy a usar in addition, furthermore, si hay una regla o o no importa. No, the same way, lo mismo. Ah, ok. Se usan igual. Ah, ok. Yes. Write something short, algo corto, ok. Cinco líneas, seis líneas, it's ok. Yes. And uh, use only one transition, please, only one. Solo uno. Ok. Yes. Ok. 
go ahead, work. I'll be back. Okay, le, le voy a compartir mi pantalla para lo que vamos para ir construyendo la el párrafo, el párrafo. Okay. Y aquí estoy haciendo esto. Solo voy a hacer más pequeño esto. Neil, Neil Armstrong. Hey, excellent. No, this is the oh, okay. template. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, continue. Like, like... A focus group is a selected group of people that has to discuss, that have to discuss uh, a specific topic. Then mm -hmm. it's important because you know I empiezan ustedes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Okay. Yes, yes, Antonio. Okay. Focus group is a, a uh, although this we can. Discuss. No, maybe, maybe oh. we can improve. We can improve. Improvisar. Uh -huh. No, improve. Uh, mejorar. Improvisar. How do you say? In, uh, improvise. Improvise. Improve. Mejorar. Uh, no, improvise. Okay. Is improvise. Uh huh. Es importante porque podemos improvisar o, o cómo Ajá. A mejorar. Eh, las dos, las dos pueden ser también. Uh -huh, sí, podemos eh, mejorar eh, para no our product. Uh -huh. before, before to launch, I don't know, antes de lanzarlo. Before to launch. Before launching, before launching. Se puede launching. Decir, se puede decir before to. Ese, vamos, corregimos ahí, uh, discuss, que está mal escrito. Yeah. Well, sería have to discuss. Ahí está en el chat. Have to discuss. Uh -huh. And also we okay. need to change because we can Im improve our product or service before. 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 Uh -huh. Without O. Oh. Uh -huh. Without O. Oh. Uh -huh. My computer is frozen. Okay. It's, I got it again. All right. Continue, guys. Before, uh, I'll see you soon. Okay. Follow a vision after driving a picture. I'm trying to understand what you talk because I don't understand. By the teacher, uh, I I wanna I wanna uh, say mm -hmm. the focus group is important. Because you have to have a vision of, vision. of your project. Yes. You have to, you need to have a vision, right? See, yes. In the chat? <laughs> yes. Oh, in the chat, yes? Yes. Okay. It's, it's 
it's okay because uh, you you want what do you want to uh, get? Mm -hmm. It's it's okay. No, it's, it's your decision. <laughs> yes, I I I think that is okay. important because you 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 need to have a vision. Eh, vale. Entonces, yo digo que le, le, le agreguemos eso que, que nos, nos escribió ahí el teacher. Because you need to have a vision. Vamos a ver. You need. Vale, yo, uh, my, my idea is the focus group are important because, no sé si está bien escrito, pero because they help you to analyze a specific topic. In addition, these groups are directed through a coordinator because somebody coordinated the group. Also, using a questionnaire for making a make this uh, analysis. I don't know if it's okay for you, Olman. For me, it's okay. Um... O sea, lo que yo quiero decir es que yo entiendo que los grupos de enfoque son importantes porque te ayudan a analizar un tema en específico. Además, dichos grupos son dirigidos por un coordinador que usa un cuestionario para llevar a cabo el trabajo. Entonces lo que he puesto es como tratando de ponerlo en inglés. The focus groups are important because they help you, help you to analyze, to analyze, creo que se dice, a specific analyze. topic. Analyze. Analyze, analyze, specific topic. In addition, these groups are direct for coordinator. Also, for this work, using questionnaire. No, no sé. That's your decision. <laughs> More or less. For me, for me, it's okay. Well, man. But but yeah. you have to you have to look like like pay attention to the ideas that you have. The first ideas and the second ideas. Remember, they have to be very very related or very close to each other. Huh. Just look okay. at that, and uh, maybe you can fix it. All right. Okay. Yes. For me, it's okay. Hi, uh, you finish? Yes, teacher. Do you have the paragraph? Yes. Okay. Can you share it? <clears throat> Sorry. Roberto, te lo mandé si lo quieres compartir. Porque tú estás compartiendo. Okay. Lo último que mandó en el chat. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, no. <laughs> um, uh oh. Let me them. So.
Wait, what? No. <laughs> Okay, I think it's correct. We we got it. Like <laughs> not us, not us. It's okay. It's okay. But is uh the focus group is a small group in which la coma no va principio. The focus group is a small group in which with no coma. In which the leader guides a discussion for uh, to learn discussion two two for no. Please eliminate four and uh, instead of four, use two. To learn about opinions and topics of cost consumers. In addition, its members must know the testing processes and it provides us with a guide for action. Okay, guys, let me just go to the other group to see how the other ones are doing. If they finish or... If they have already finished, I'm going to take you back to the main session. Give me a minute. Are we ready over here? Yes, teacher, we finished. Excellent. Yes, okay. teacher. Let me go to the last group and then we're gonna go back to the main session. Okay. Each of them. Are you guys ready? Uh, no. More or less, more or less. <laughs> change the idea and change the idea. You changed the idea, okay. I didn't finish. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I think I was like, maybe two people will think better, you know. <laughs> but two people we, we think too much. Brainstorming, yes. <laughs> yes. But it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Practice English. Yeah. It's good, it's good hearing you again, Rosalina. It's been a while. Yeah, thank you. I, I feel so bad, but uh, uh, today I feel better. That's that's something good. That's something good. I'm happy. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Yes, you've been you've been off all this this yeah. days. Yeah. Only listen the class and I know. And the I know. Is, is hard, teacher. It's topic. Yes. Yes, it's so hard for the grammar and the vocabulary. Yes. But it's very interesting because it's it's a a, a business topic. It's it nice. Is. It's business is very formal because this is the, yeah. this is formal writing, okay? Yeah, like a management. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, but need oh, time for study the exactly. lesson. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna go back, okay? <laughs> now, I don't say anything. Please don't ask me because <laughs> I didn't finish. Maybe Holman has <laughs> better idea for me. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, I don't know. You decide. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's go back. Understand me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back. Dale, Holman. <laughs> vaya, hay que terminarlo. O sea, vaya. This group help. For me. Okay, we are here, we're back, and we are ready to share. Let's start with the first group, and that group is Fatima's group. Fatima, please share what you have with, with Roberto. Okay. Um, the focus group mm -hmm. is a small group in which the leader gives guides, 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 leader guides a discussion to learn 
about opinions and topics of consumers. Mm -hmm. In addition, its members must know the testing process and it provides us with a guide for action. Guide, guide for action. Guide for action. Okay, the transition word has been used correctly, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ideas are a little related. All right, excellent, uh, Roberto and Fatima for, thank you for sharing. Good, good, good. Excellent, excellent. Let me, I can stop it, don't worry. I got it, I got it, there you go. Okay, let's continue with Holman, Holman and Rosa. Yes, you guys. <laughs> Este, bueno, uh, the focus group is important because you need to have a vision of, of the project. In addition, this group help, help you mm -hmm. to do a, a vision. In addition, this group was use questionnaire and questionnaire and Rosalina uh, in uh, the next part <laughs> questionnaire for 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 uh, make that analysis analysis I oh, think. An analysis and then analysis yeah, analysis yeah okay finish okay yes okay, 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 okay. don't worry it's fine it's fine you were trying you were trying okay and it's good, okay. it's good. thanks thanks very much thank you very much for sharing the last one the last one antonio you with christian go ahead Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. A focus group is a select group of people that have to discuss a specific topic. And this is important because we can improve our product or service before launching to the market. In addition, we can learn many things about the experience in the focus group to get better as person, company, in, in the product or service. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Although, in addition, was was kind of weird. There, usaron sin el punto. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> well, excellent, Christian. Excellent. <laughs> all right. All right. Very good. Thank you for sharing, both of you. All right, guys. We have we have finished. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now. We're going to review something here. We have 10 minutes and we're gonna go to this. Let me show you, hold on, give me a second. Because this thing took me out. I don't understand why, but it took me out. I'm trying to log in again. I'm logging, logging in already. Hold on, hold on, yes, I got it here. Well, if you haven't finished this part, you're gonna be happy about it. <laughs> okay, you're going to be very happy about it. Here, look. Guys, we're going to review this exam. We're going to do it together. And you're going to give me the answers. This one is the midterm exam. It's the ending of the second session or in the, it's the ending of the second unit. Look at this example. He wanted to study in a university. He went to Jeddah University last month. Which word would you use here? Mm -hmm. In addition, although, or as a result? As a result? Okay, as a result, let's try that one. 
The second one, Ali was driving very fast yesterday. Space, the police gave him a ticket. On the other hand, for this reason, in addition. For this reason, I think. For this reason sounds better. <laughs> All right. Number three, space. Qatar is a small country. It is very rich in addition, although besides. Richard, mm -hmm. how do you bring, how do you say the second one, auction? Although, all although, the, although. What is the answer? Third one. Although. Yes, although is the answer in this case. But I don't I don't understand this one because it, it is supposed to be about about in addition, you know, in addition or or besides. Well, the politician is too old to be our president. Space he is not trustworthy. Guys, easy, right? <laughs> what is the answer here? The politician is too old to be our president. Maybe moreover. Moreover. No. Okay, moreover. <laughs> yes, yes, moreover. Okay, he is not trustworthy. All right. Yes. Another one here. It says, I like math. I like science as well. As well. I like science as well. Let's check. Okay. You are, you are, you are on fire. <laughs> you guys are on fire. Look. Excellent. Very good. Okay. This part now. Part number two. Let me read it to you guys. Consumers use or cite and handle one product, then another, and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Guys, what do you think about this? Which method or which test is this? The paired, paired comparison test. Okay, the paired comparisons test. Yes, yes, that's the one. Consumers use the product in real circumstances. They use the they use a product, cite it, handle it, and rate it later. What is it, guys? Monadic, monadic method. It's the monadic method. Yes, it's that one. It's the monadic method. Next, well, instructions. Read the statements below. Choose the verb form that agrees with the subject. Some of the participants in the testing group not arrived yet. Guys, have or has? Have. Have. Four, one of the factors to decide on the, on the best type of test space, the characteristics of the product itself. Yes. Is or are? One of the factors to decide on the best type of test, the characteristics of the product itself. What is the answer? Is or are? Is. Is because we mentioned one at the beginning of the sentence or the quantifier is one, singular. A number of customers space satisfied with the performance of the new mop. Guys, are or is? It is, teacher. I think it's are. Yes. A number of is always plural. Okay. It's always plural. It is. <laughs> it is. Yes. I, I thought so. Just a bit. Okay. But I don't know. But it's not is. Okay. It's not is. It's it's R. Okay. It's not. I don't know why. But if you don't believe me, I, I can show you. I. Right? Oh, but I did. I closed the book. If you go to the book, you will see that information. I have to go, okay. 
data here. Remember the platform has some mistakes because there are there is a lot of information and sometimes that information, you know, uh, it's it's messy. Look, a majority and a number take a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun. And we have the plural noun there. Okay, in the in the in the example, we have the plural noun, so we need to use are in that case, because a number of customers include that, right? Yes, very good. Let's continue here, look. The part three says, instructions, select the best option. Number one, Lindsay space, not been to France, has, is, have. What is the answer, guys? Or which has. one do you think is the answer? Has. Has, yes. Number two, space, you finished your homework. Have, has, or is? Have. Okay, have, yes. Number three says, they, space, gone to a rock concert. They, they, or they've. They. Yes. Dave. Dave. This is present perfect, okay? I'll let you know, space, come back. I come back. <clears throat> because after or since? After. After, right? After, after. Number five, space, you stop crying. I'll buy you an ice cream. If, if, since, or after. If. If. If you stop crying, I will buy you an ice cream, please. Okay, there you go. Wow, we are on fire. And this is the last one. I think it's just five, only four parts. This is the last one. Instructions. Choose the name of the steps in the process of developing a new products. Once the idea has been completed, completed, sorry, the product must be taken to a location where customers can get it. Idea generation or commercialization? Commercialization. Commercialization, exactly. Brainstorming, what is brainstorming? The idea generation or the launch? The idea generation. It's the idea generation, exactly, exactly, thank you. Number three, you have to ask for the customer's opinion, idea generation or concept developing and testing. Concept developing and testing. Yes. Okay. Number four, in this stage, research has to be conducted in order to be sure that the product will be accepted. That's marketing or commercialization. Test marketing. Okay, test marketing. And the last one, it presents the model product to be appreciated as a whole by the potential customer. Launch or brainstorm? Launch. Launch, okay, let's choose, let's submit this. And yeah, we got it, all right? Fantastic people, excellent, very good, very good, okay? That was the midterm, all right? That was the midterm, yes. Okay, do you have any questions, guys? Any questions? No question. No questions. Okay, I am happy to announce the winner for today. <laughs> and that person is, I'm sorry, but it is you, Roberto. Roberto? Yes, teacher. Can you stay after class, please? Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's, let me take attendance. Adriana Maria Turcios is here. All right, Carlos Elivaldo wasn't here today. Christian Alexander Arevalo. 
Present teacher. Christopher Speed Yachipawa wasn't here today. We don't know why. Fatima Denise Aguilar. Present teacher. Yes. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Hector Francisco Morales. Present teacher. Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Present. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Holman Saúl Giron Sánchez. Present. Laura Yasmin Portillo Andres. Lucy Natalie Juárez. Present. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Uh, Nelson Antonio Rodas. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero. Pamela Carolina Molina Guevara. Roberto Carlos Hernández. Present. And Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, thank you. I saw your message. I got your message. Thank you. Okay, very good, very good. All right, guys, well, thank you very, everyone for this week. Thank you for your effort. And well, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good weekend, enjoy, and just sleep, okay? <laughs> guys, thank you. See you on Monday, okay? Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Right, good night, everyone. Good night. Rest. Wait, Roberto. <laughs> Because aún tenemos acá a tres personas. Aquí es para que se desconecten. Okay. okay, Roberto. Hi. Michael. Hi, teacher. Okay, hi. Okay, tenemos unos minutos para poder este, aclarar cualquier duda, pregunta, confusión, complicación que usted tenga de los temas que hemos visto. Escribimos ahora, ayer, anteayer, <ríe> de los que hemos visto o de cualquier cosa que sea de inglés. Oh. Bueno, por el momento no, pero... Um, in the platform, um, uh, find a exercise. Mm -hmm. um, I don't understand. Um, Which exercise? The number is section section two, section one or section two. Oh, oh, creo que todavía no hemos llegado, creo que ese tema. Viéndolo bien es. Section 3. The point 3. Three, three. Ok, then no. Ajá, <laughs> sí. Oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> adelantó. Sí. It's ok, it's ok. Por eso no, no comprende, porque <laughs> estoy adelantado. Sí. It's ok, it's ok. No, no pasa nada, no pasa nada. Mucho, es mejor que se, que se, se adelante, no hay problema. Ajá. <laughs> ok. Entonces sería sección 3. Ok. Iniciamos el lunes con la, con la parte 3. Ok. Más preguntas, opiniones, quejas. <ríe> no, teacher, está bien. I don't know. Uh -huh. eh, um, tiempo lo que no mucho hay. <ríe> yes, it is true. Uh -huh. Pues un poquito... Se hace un poquito más difícil por el cansancio que tenemos, que ya es tarde, venimos de trabajar, entonces como que nos cansamos, ¿verdad? Pero aún así hay que hacer un poquito el esfuerzo para poder mejorar poco a poco. Aunque sea, aunque sea un poquito que mejoremos, pero ya es mejorar, mejorar, es mejorar.
¿Y qué, qué, qué hace para poder mejorar? El, aparte de la clase, ¿qué más hace para poder este, adquirir más inglés? Um, I, I learn vocabulary and listen songs. Mm -hmm. Listen songs and Spotify and YouTube. Yeah, I try uh, learn more words every day. Okay, that's good. That's good. You are doing. You are doing the necessary. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's what you have to do. Music, videos, series, movies. Everything you do has to be in English, yes. All right? Everything. If you're thinking, if you're doing an activity at work, think about that activity in English. Todo lo que piensa, piensa en inglés. Yes. Eso es Okay. Más comentarios, Roberto? No, teacher. In... The class is perfect. Okay, thank you for saying that. Siempre que tenga duda, cualquier pregunta, confusión, complicación, siempre hágamelo saber, ya sea por WhatsApp, aquí por el chat de Zoom, o pregunte de una vez en la clase. Okay? Okay. Cualquier pequeña inquietud que tenga, usted no dude en preguntar. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, then, uh, well, thank you, Roberto. I will see you on Monday, okay? Yes. Que descanse. Okay. Uh, thank you, teacher. Okay, I guess what I Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Wow. Bye. Good night. Good night.